Um, but this institution is bigger than any one man. I mean, we've done without Donald before. To tell you the truth, I think we're doing one hell of a job. I was wondering, Mark, if you're finished with the monthly DRG evaluations. Well, if I was, I wouldn't keep it a secret. I'm still trying to untangle that ward clerk snafu you dumped on me. Hey, Roxanne. Mark, time for the meeting? Listen. Every department chairman should be pulling his or her own weight. I mean, just because you deliver babies all day doesn't mean that you can't help with the DRGs. I'm in the middle of scheduling resident rotations for the next six months. Let Joan Halloran handle the DRGs. She's already swamped with the semi-annual budget for the board. You're gonna have to do it, Mark. Help her crying out loud. I barely have time for surgery anymore. How about you pitching in? I'm preparing for the arrival of the Residency Review Committee and interviewing replacements for Donald. Where the hell did he go, anyway? He worked with a man for years, doesn't even send a postcard. I mean, did I or did I not drag a pineapple for him all the way back from Lahaina? Nuts. What? Macadamias. He brought me macadamias. I'll handle the residence. <laughs> Is this your idea of a joke, Daniel? Maybe we're on the wrong floor. Morning, Dr. Gray. Ehrlich. Shut up. Thank you, sir. When do we start rounds? What rounds? We're supposed to have a mortality conference. The schedule said rounds. Must be another mix-up. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, let's go. 
As you all know, every few years we subject ourselves to the scrutiny, and I emphasize the first syllable, of the Residency Review Committee. I can't stress enough the power that these bureaucrats possess. Do you own a tie? Yes, sir. Get it out of mothballs. No. The committee will evaluate every specialty. Cardiac surgery, emergency medicine, obstetrics. Even radiology. They'll determine whether you slugs are getting the proper training. If they decide you're not, we can kiss our accreditation goodbye. Uh, make sure you meet the chairman. Minorities play well with the commission. Sure. Now, I want you all to toe the line on this and get this exercise over ASAP. Ehrlich, let's see a little spit and polish on those shoes. Anything you want to add, Daniel? The committee chairman's name is Dr. Jonas Wisner. Sorry. I... Any questions? Uh, Dr. Craig, I don't know if this is the time to bring this up, but ever since Dr. Westfall left, some of us feel that we haven't been getting enough feedback, and what we do receive tends to be negative. You're right. I am. This isn't the time to bring it up. Okay, that's all. What about rounds? Dr. Craig, um, yep. I was wondering, is there anything you'd like me to do specifically? Yes, stay out of sight. You are an N U T. I don't see anything not. funny about this. Oh, look for yourself. John Doe number six is having another seizure. You should have locked him up. No, no, no. He's not dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Says who? Now, what's going on here? Guess. <laughs> two B's. Or not two B. Still can't remember your name. Uh, I need to know, Dr. Weiss. I need to know who I am. My true identity. So I developed another system. The first column lists every letter of the alphabet, you see? Now, column number two has the letter A. Column number three will have B, and then C, and then D, and then all the way. Now, I'm going to explore every combination and permutation till I discover my true identity. For example, uh, uh, A, A. Uh, Mm, Alan Alda. All right, now, uh, do I look like an Alan Alda? No. Mm, all right, uh, B-A. Uh, Brandy Alexander. Mm. C-A. Chester Arthur. D-A. D-A. I'm stuck already. Daniel Ashlander. Who's he? Chief of services here will be very upset with you for destroying St. Leach's property. Ah, oh, yeah. St. Elsewhere. A vast wasteland. John, do you remember our conversation yesterday? No. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Get me started. I told you that the CAT scan confirmed a lesion in the brain. That's what's causing your emotional outburst. The uncontrollable laughter. Mm -hmm. I also told you that Dr. Chimato, the neurosurgeon, will operate tomorrow to remove the lesion. No, uh... No, I don't remember that. Surgery is pretty risky, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I could die. It's possible. Weiss, I don't want to die. I'm scared out of my mind. I mean, there was always something I wanted to do with my life, you know? I wonder what the hell it was. Just give me some pills. You can't do anything for me. I have to examine you. I haven't seen you in about a year. Yes. The tingling in the toes, the hand aches, the nausea are getting worse. Tired, can't concentrate. All because of Ace Norwich. We still don't know very much about its effects. Your airplane spread us like insects, as constant as the pillory fire. I can see the TCDD falling from the sky. I 
It's Malik. Military was trying to destroy the jungle cover of our enemies. We killers cannot tell the difference between gorillas and allies. I'm sorry. We, the Vietnamese community, live with the fear of this disease, as do your veterans. Are they all as bitter as you? Only some. Well, we'll keep monitoring your health with regular exams. I know that's not cure. I really feel badly about this. If I hadn't been in the shower at the time, maybe I'd have caught the guy. Hello, Bob. Oh, hiya, Mark. Listen, I've already called security. Great. Why? On account of what happened to Oliver London. Finally caught him practicing without a license? This is your fault, Craig. You got something to say to me, London? Come right out here in plain sight. The problem, he can't. Why? Because he's locked in there. What did you do with the key, Oliver? Swallow it? I'm leaning into my locker, reaching for my pants. Just had a recount. I feel a shove. Next thing I know, my clothes are gone and I'm locked in. Probably one of your malpractice patients paying you back. This never happened when Westfall was in charge. Yeah, I guess we got lucky today. You got a stuck locker? Yeah, right there. Well, there's several ways I can open it. The fastest. I'm getting claustrophobic. No problem. I'll have you on the jiffy. Hope you're wearing asbestos underwear, Oliver. Excuse me, uh, sir. Sir, I'm in kind of a hurry. I gotta whitewash my box before this joker from the residency review committee shows up. Uh, which way do I go? Depends on where you want to end up. Who are you looking for? Alan Alda. <laughs> okay. uh, Brandy Alexander, Chester Arthur, DA. What, Da? District Attorney? What? Daniel Oshlander. That's it. Wait a minute, Dr. Oshlander. You, you wouldn't happen to be Dr. Jonas Wisner, would you? Do you really know who I am? We've been expecting you, sir. Let me say, first of all, what an honor and a privilege it is to be working this fine old institution. I'm Ehrlich, Dr. Victor Ehrlich, M.D. M.D., Mike Douglas, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a wit. Let me take you upstairs to the operation. Oh, no, no, no. Let me show you how the whole building operates, okay? Here, let me get this door. Nice-looking suit. Oh, thanks. I just got it. Yeah. But clothes don't change the man. It's uh, what radiates from his soul. J.M. Barry. Huh? Besides, if God had meant for us to walk around nude, he'd have created us that way. A.A. <laughs> <laughs> a. Milne. Never thought of that. You know, Dr. Wisner, we are so fortunate the man of your caliber was chosen to evaluate our humble little hospital, and we're thrilled that you're going to be able to tell us how to make St. Allegis a better place. Oh. Oh, I see. You uh, want me to make this facility letter perfect. Happy to help. I like to push the buttons. <laughs> I have a feeling things around here are never going to be the same. <laughs> You. <laughs> Dr. Mark, 
Where can I hide? It's a matter of someone erect on No. Dr. Jonas Bussner of the Residency Review Board is going to be poking around here any minute, and Craig told me to disappear. Oh, well, not to worry, Podge. We'll put you in some fatigues, and Wisner will think you're a small a tall off the bin. Very funny. What was that? You know, the only department in this entire hospital that's going to pass this review going away is the ER. I mean, face it, we see the kind of food bars other doctors only dream about. Don't be too confident, Fiscus. Oh, sure, you have your share of rapes, knife wounds, and bullet holes. But how often do you get to treat hangnails and hemorrhoids? And that's what this guy's really looking for. I'll get an ammo bag. The other guy's still lying out there. He grabbed the end green into the chest. Go to the park. It's been an accident. Ellen, call the OR. Tell him to get the table ready. I mean, they, they, they strapped me in. I don't know why they didn't use the seatbelts. Could you hold an operating room for us, please? First day of fall. Way to start a new season, huh? This office available for your use. Dr. Wisner? Dr. Wisner? You! You! That's me! I'm him. You can use this office for your own. Here are the necessary reports for your inspection, including the most up to date statistics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Statistics are no substitute for judgment. J.B. Fletcher. Here's a lab coat and a visitor's badge, which will enable you to circulate through the hospital with ease. Hmm. This is great. This is... How should I say it? Yes. Very well typed. You know, Dr. Whistler, I almost asked the committee to postpone your evaluation. Really? Why? We're currently searching for a new director of medicine. Nobody told me that. Dr. Westfall's departure was a great loss. Oh, I can imagine. On the surface, things may appear to be a bit unorganized. I assure you the confusion is only temporary. The result of one man wearing two hats, which frankly is aging me very quickly. No one gets too old to learn a new way of being stupid. <laughs> J.D. Salinger. Yes. With that in mind, I leave you. Hmm. The hospital is at your disposal. I'll start with the ER. I like those initials. As you wish. Are you sure he knew what time the appointment was? His brokerage house says he's left. There's no message from him on the machine. I'm sure he'll be here. Want some coffee? No, thanks. I've been caffeine-free since Woodstock. 69. No, no, 81. Ken and I honeymooned at the inn. Dr. Turner, I'm going to have to leave soon. I've got a meeting with the Boston Landmarks Commission. Yeah, I want to discuss this with both of you. I'm a big girl, Dr. Turner, working in the real world. You can give me the test results. Okay. Ken's sperm count is certainly within the limits of normalcy. Motility, adequate. Then it's me. Yes, it appears that way. Well, um, what's the problem? Well, you're ovulating regularly, but the cervical mucus is of poor quality. Basically, the sperm can't penetrate to reach the eggs. So we can't have children. If you mean the way Mom did, no. But we have the technology to help you along. Artificial insemination. In vitro fertilization. No, 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 test tube, baby. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. My breakfast meeting turned into an early lunch. It was embarrassing. We were arguing about interest rate futures, and Magruder got loud. That's too bad. Catch your breath, Ken. We have a problem to discuss. 
We're not going to be able to have children, Ken. Oh. That's a bummer. Well, it's okay, Jerry. Yeah, I know. Uh, Dr. Turner, will you fill my husband in on the details? Where are you going? Landmarks Commission hearing. Hopefully my drawings were approved and I got issued a work permit. Well, don't you want to grab some lunch? No, I'm really late, Ken. I'll see you at home for dinner. You want to eat in or out? In. I'll pick something up. Thanks. It's me, isn't it? Phil? Don't tell me you want a curbside. Yep. Well, you picked the right time. These x-rays have me baffled. Let's go. One more thing. What's his background? 42-year-old male, exposed to herbicide spraying in Vietnam. Nam? What unit was he in? Marines? No, no, Mr. New Yen is Vietnamese. He, uh, he was forced to leave during the U.S. evacuation. But he was in a year ago. I checked with the VA on treatment. No help. Mr. Nguyen, this is Dr. Chandler. I asked him for a second opinion. About chemical warfare? Would you lean forward, please? Mr. Nguyen was telling me about the fall of Saigon. April 30th, 1975. I know. We will cram into a helicopter, strip of all our possessions, dignity, not unlike the European who left their home because of the persecution. Only that we didn't have the Statue of Liberty to greet us. Would you extend your arms, please? Thank you. Squeeze. I learned the American past to become a citizen. 125 years ago, the North fought your South. A long struggle like that could sap the soul out of one strong people. Don't talk. Lie back down. There's an extended liver edge. Did you note this rash here? It's chloracne. Maybe. I was once a high-ranking government official. Yeah, in Saigon, away from the fighting. Hey, Phil. Don't hey, Phil me. Vietnam is a small country. The war was always in everyone's backyard. Yeah, but we fought your battles for you. We came to the rescue. We tried to give you freedom. Meanwhile, half your army's fighting for Ho Chi Minh. Your soldiers burn our villages. Do they palm our babies? You destroy the whole country. If you ask me, you got what you deserve. Oh, I was at the mall trying on a pair of wingtips, and, and, and I started having a seizure. I've had them before. But by the time the ambulance got there, I was all right. And they insisted. <laughs> Guess I'd better return these. Wait here. I'll be right back. Almost finished. Forget the dressing. Let's cover the lacerations with antibiotic ointment. Slight concussion, but I think he's going to make it. Damn. Call him more, tell him to keep a drawer open. I'm going to lunch. Hi. I'm Jonas Wisner. Just here to check things out. Looks pretty busy. Trauma breaks up in the afternoon. You're joking about death? Look, Dr. Wisner, in my two years here, I've seen dozens of fatalities. And you'd think I'd get used to it, but I don't. Because I keep thinking, for all these people, it's the only time he or she is going to die. And that's forever. All we try to do is put forever off a little further. Well, everything here's in tip-top shape. All looks yellow to the jaundiced eye, eh? E.E. E. Cummings. Gotta get back to it. Dr. Wisner, want to get some lunch? Good idea. Eat, drink, and be merry. Tomorrow we may die. L.L. Bean. Don't you get it? 
This isn't bad news. We still have options. I know. I'm a stockbroker. <laughs> Look, you tell me Terry didn't want to know about alternative methods, so as far as I'm concerned, the subject is closed. I'm not going to put any pressure on her. This is both your problem. You have been married four years. You've been trying to have a baby for two. Yeah, the dollars and cents finally added up. We were waiting for our careers to be on an even keel. But, so what? Instead, we'll get a cocker spaniel. Go ahead, be cute. Mm, I'm serious. Then roll over and play dead. Spend the rest of your marriage looking at each other sadly. Something unspoken hovering over the dinner conversations. But if you and Terry try every avenue and we still come up empty, at least you'll have that. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but you two didn't seem like the type to give up so easily. I have to get back to work. Richard I agree, Jonas. It's good to get away. We just closed on a house off the Cape. You never know how many friends you have till you own a house at the beach. T.J. Hooker. Hey, uh, how's the pot roast? Uh, I know how they make it. I just don't know why. <laughs> you need low material. <laughs> oh, alphabet soup, please. So, uh, tell me about life in general at uh, St. Allegis, huh? Hey, what can I say? I mean, there's a new surprise every day. Oliver London, one of our cardiac surgeons. His suit was stolen right out of the surgical locker room. Yeah, no, it's not much of a suit. Hey, Ezra, do I want the pound cake? Uh, now, you uh, you started the plastics department here, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. I came on up from Duke because I was tired of doing tummy tucks. Thought I'd sink my teeth in the other sides of plastics. You know, burns, congenital defects. Mm. Doing good rather than just making people look good. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a new system here at St. Elite. People in the community don't even know we're here. But I'm hoping that'll change. Well, he who lives on hope has a slender diet. R.E.O. Speedwagon. How much do I owe you? For all three, that's, uh, 918. Yeah. Here's 20. Keep the change. Keep the change? <gasps> oh. oh, my God! <laughs> Elliot, call the code. <laughs> Code blue, cafeteria. We need a crash car. Yeah. Uh, we need to talk. Oh, that's a first. You're articulating your thoughts. What was your attitude towards Mr. Nguyen? I examined him, that's all. You treated him disrespectfully. Well, bedside manner is your specialty, woman. If you got a problem, spit it out. Let's get the amber back if I here. did something, tell me what it is. Look, why do you always think you're the center of the universe? You didn't do anything, all right? Nobody did anything. It just galls me that this rice face is living the great life in the suburbs while my brother went to Vietnam and came home in a box. That's all. I need a little better exposure here. You comfortable, Dr. Wisner? Yeah, okay. There it is. The human heart. You know, at this institution, and a damn fine old institution, if you'll permit me, we residents are taught to examine the heart not only as a finely tuned pump, but to embrace it as a wellspring of human existence under the leadership of Dr. Mark Craig, Chief of Surgery. Oh, for crying out loud, Earl. Like you sound like the public service announcement. Pickups. You want to know the truth, Wisner? That's what I'm here for. That's what we're all here for. Except for this man who's here for a mitral valve replacement. I don't give a damn what you tell the review committee. This department of surgery matches up with any in the state. I hear you. Not only because my hearing's good, but my heart's open. Of course, not as open as his. <laughs> Snaps. So how is the rest of the hospital holding up to the inspection? Oh, uh, well, I'm, I'm not at liberty to uh, discuss my evaluation before I submit it to the committee, but uh, there's at least one department that thinks to be streamlined. And... Just give us a hint. It starts with R. Radiology. I knew it. Aha. Uh -huh. I like you, Wisner. You're not what I expected. 
Paper chasing bureaucrat? Right. Mm. One off, comic. I feel a sneeze coming on, sir. Well, then step out. Wisner, grab that retractor. Me? You're a doctor, aren't you? Uh, oh, oh, yes, Dr. Uh, Jonas Wisner, MD. Perfect. Thanks. We could use a man like you on our staff. Why don't you think about throwing your hat in the ring for director of medicine? Excellent idea, sir. I was just on the edge of suggesting it myself. It's amazing. You work with someone for a while, and you can almost complete their sentences for them. Narrow mind has a broad tongue. Y.A. Tittle. Yeah. And Ehrlich. Shutting up, sir. <laughs> Look, Phil, I'm sorry that your brother died. And I'm sorry that my wife died. But you've got to come to terms with it. Nathan's been dead for a lot of years. Seventeen. Case on. Yeah. It's time to put him to rest. And Nathan didn't get drafted. He volunteered. My old man said the country's at war. You go. That's it. No questions asked. Vietnam was a mistake. Only because our soldiers got a raw deal, being spit on here at home. It was a war without morals. You protesters. You pressured Congress to limit military spending. Midway through the Trapeze Act, it pulled out the net. Phil, we never could have won. But we did, ultimately. I mean, look at the situation in Southeast Asia. It's a mess. That's not justification. What divine law says the United States has the right to determine how other countries run their governments? What makes us so righteous? I got a letter from my brother talking about why he went. He said this country was built on a single foundation. There's nothing we can't do. But after Nam, we went into a national tailspin. Self-disgust, defeatism. It's people like you who suck out the morals. America learned it's got limits. The war was senseless. Don't tell me my brother died for no reason. My pillow. My pillow. I already know where my pillow is. It's on the floor, Fiskus. I had a dream I ate a 10-pound marshmallow. What's bugging him? What are you doing, Fiskus? Well, currently I'm in my second year of residency. I mean, right now. You want to go out for a beer? Wow. Well, it's on me. Okay. One condition, though. No talking politics. No problem. I'm a registered Whig. We haven't had a candidate since Winfield Scott. I am very impressed by your OBGYN, Dr. Turner. Especially, especially the infertility program. Well, the equipment's the top of the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the frustrating part is this sort of procedure makes a lot of people nervous. I have a couple right now I'm having trouble getting through to. Um, have you considered sending a telex? Oh, and thanks for the door. Of course I'm excited about Stephen coming home. It's about time. Did he say whether or not he's bringing the little bride along? Come in. Ellen, I'm not being contrary. Ellen, this will have to wait. I'm in the middle of a meeting. If you're here to beg off your OBGYN rotation, forget it. No, no, sir. Actually, I'm looking forward to working with Dr. Turner. Uh, what then? May I sit? If you have to. I, uh, I, I usually, uh, talk to Westfall when I got a problem. And, uh, Dr. Auslander, he... I can't find him. Will you sit down, Morrison? Your uh, remedial exam is coming up soon, and you're afraid of flunking it, right? Don't worry. Third time's the charm. That's not why I'm here, Dr. Gregg. Well, if it's about that half-assed idea of a hospital daycare center, I read the proposal. Forget it. No, sir. You sure it's not about your OBGYN rotation? I know from personal experience that putting on the coal miner's hat and excavating strange cabins can be very... Well, for crying out loud, I'm not Bennett Surf. What the hell's the problem? Vietnam. 
I uh, I objected to the war. I was in high school at the time, but still, I got involved in the peace movement. March on Washington. Just an excuse to meet girls. Those shaggy-haired college brats were chicken. Too scared to defend their country. Nobody was attacking our border. The domino theory, Morrison. You've heard of it? Yes, I have. Well, now you've seen it. South Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, bing, bing, bing. I mean, it's the same principle that I fought for in Korea. It's the same principle we fight for every time we send our boys overseas. My, my parents' house was in the edge of campus. Police tear gas students who were bloodied but resolved. After Kent State, it took as much courage to go out there and protest as it did to fight. Well, they're finally putting up memorials to Vietnam vets. I say they ought to be honoring the Vietnam protesters as well. Are you finished? Yes. I know that this is probably the point that Dr. Westfall pats you on the head, gives you some candy and comforting advice. Me? I think you're full of malarkey. Now get out of here. Three shots at a remedial. What a dolt. If you're not up here in two minutes, I'll blow it up. <sighs> you wait for my shift to begin. Then you pull a stunt like this. Oh, I hate you, help! Oh, you'll be happy to know the computer's down again. I wonder what I can do to get it up. I'm going to scream. Excuse me. Dr. Rauschlander. Yes. Ah! Where's Westfall? If mission said I could find you here, Dr. Wisner, Jonas Wisner. Well, there must be some mistake. I'm sure the review committee told you I was coming. I don't understand. Dr. Wisner, you're already here. Ah, feeling much better, thank you. Look, I'm on a very tight schedule. Could I get to my office and the pertinent reports, please? What kind of a stunt is this? I'm afraid I'll have to have some identification. There appears to be a plethora of wishes today. And I intend to discover which Wisner is which. Go to my office. Sit. And don't touch anything. What are you doing? You back in the meat. There goes my spritzer. Thank you. I'll let Morrison get to you, okay? He's still crying over Bambi's mother. It eats me up, though, like the rest of us don't have feelings. I know what you mean. I mean, I love my brother Nathan. He wasn't like anybody I've ever met. How's that? Well, he had big ones, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time we got into trouble. You know, the kind where the big brother has the big ideas and gets the little brother shot by the angry police. What'd you do wrong? Yeah, we broke windows with a couple of rocks. My sister once made me wear a dress. Did you wax your legs? What's your problem, pal? What's your problem, pal? <laughs> Just, I'm not in the mood for these guys. Forget it. I was a middle child, crushed on both sides. My brother got the best grades. He was terrific in sports, smooth with the girls. You try being a younger brother to that. You didn't turn out so bad yourself. Yeah, but even that was because of my brother. I wanted to be a history major, then when he got killed, it was a given that I'd go into pre-med, you know, the only son left. My father's big dream was to have a doctor in the family. Just like the Kennedys. Joe was supposed to be president when he got killed in the Pacific, Jacqueline in the White House. Yeah, and sent advisors to Vietnam. Listen to the middle-aged quip, Dave, living in the past. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Come on. Hold it. Hey, look out. This is 
Surgeon, I'm not permitted to fight. Really? <laughs> let's get let's get out of here. Where's Ehrlich? He's probably back in the on call by now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Can't let that be hold the bike, car. <laughs> Come on, sit still. You're worse than one of my kids. I should go, really. I'll be done in a minute. Chandler, do you mind telling me what's going on here? There you go. Excuse me, gentlemen. We got into a brawl. Well, I can see that. This reflects badly on St. Allegis and me. Do you guys win? Yes. Well, you make life a lot tougher than it has to be. I don't know what you're talking about. I got wind of how unprofessional you were with that calming patient of Morrison's. Explain. My brother was killed in Vietnam. Oh, so you're going to take your anger out on every Asian that comes into this hospital. Hmm? That is not the point. See, I never went to the funeral. My parents told me I was too young. I never even saw the casket. What the hell are you talking about? The day I found out. Two Marines, they came over the house and dressed blues. I didn't know what was going on, but I yelled upstairs to my mother. The minute she saw them, tears. Our minister said Nathan died for heroic reasons. My old man told me I should feel proud, so I did. My country, right or wrong. Hey. Listen up, mister. Vietnam made us all take a hard look at how this country functions. But America has the uncanny ability to correct itself when it starts making mistakes. Yeah, but who pays for those mistakes, huh? The veterans, they returned home disgraced. The deed was dirty, but they did it, so let's blame them. Now they're being honored. By honoring them, we're absolved of our own guilt. What is it with you and Morrison? All you two can do is whine about a venture can't change. My brother stepped on a mine. Stupid. Damn him. He told me he was going to come back home. I should have done something. I should have protested. I, I should have gone to the funeral. I should go. We're not finished here. I don't care. Read them and weep. Lucky in love, the hawk has done it again. Oh, just taking a break from the, you know, rigors of the review. <laughs> Dr. Wister is in my office. Well, I'm Dr. Wisdom. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, you know, there are several other departments I still have to see, so if, if, if you'll excuse me... You're I'll... listed in the psychiatric records as John Doe number six. Have you lost your mind? Accusing me of impersonating a doctor? I'll show you. There. That's a photograph of Oliver London. What is he doing on my license? Hello, John. Daniel, I'm sorry. It's over, isn't it? I'm afraid so. I was always a sucker for seersucker. How can you can always do that up in your room before they prep you for the operation. The operation. Mm -hmm. You do remember. I, um... Uh, you told me about surgery and, uh, uh... And you told me about Westfall resigning. You know, I, uh... I figured out why he left, you know. Hospitals. I mean, even nice ones. They are scary places. He lost his identity here. How could he make a choice if he didn't know who he was? He ran away because he was scared. I understand fear. They're going to drill a hole in my skull, expose my brain. 
Man's mind's a very private thing, you know. John, we're only trying to help you. You've looked around this hospital. You've seen how it works. There's no reason to be afraid. I know that now. I just needed the time, you know. I'm, uh... <clears throat> I'm willing to take the risk. You know, you have a very fine hospital. D.A. And a wonderful staff. You should be real proud. I am. I made a good Dr. Wisner, didn't I? Yes. Hope I'm as good at being who I really am. That's all any of us can ever hope for. Well, Dr. Weiss, back to psych. Ooh. You know what? It's what you learn after you know it all. It counts. Who said that? I did! <laughs> A blue blazer, gray slacks. Who died? <laughs> you got a car, Elliot? Yeah. My cousin Pee Wee has a Datsun dealership. Can you give me a lift to the airport? Sure. You going away? Yeah. Time to say goodbye. Dr. Turner, can we see you? Oh, not now. It's rush hour. I just delivered triplets, and number three was a whole bout. I think he enjoyed having the place to himself. When will you have time? Well, I have a patient in transition. I don't know. Look, I'm all talked out on this thing. You two have already made up your minds. Dr. Turner, look, we may be upwardly mobile, but we're inwardly terrified. I'm not scared. I'm ashamed. Not being able to have children is nothing to be ashamed of. If you can't, it won't make you any less human beings. There are a lot of scummy people in the world who are parents. Doesn't prove a thing. See you. So, what do you think? It's up to you. Bottom line is, we want a child. We deserve one. Okay. Simon? Oh, Daniel. John, I'll drop by to see how you're doing. You're probably still groggy from the anesthesia. Just remember, recovery is a slow process. John, what's going on here, son? Daniel, the surgery was much more radical than we expected. He's lost the part of his brain that cares. What are his chances for recovery? Such a fine spirit. Extinguished. John. I know that you can hear me. Tomorrow we're going to have to start at the very beginning. John. Tomorrow we're going to start with the letter A. Who knows, maybe we'll get through the whole alphabet. Slightest change. Ah, just the man I wanted to see. I just had the unpleasant experience of going on rounds with the real wisdom. I like the old one better. I know what you mean. Had the audacity to criticize my bedside manner. You know, my hunch is he's going to torpedo us just for the fun of it. Did you finish the DRGs? You know, if you didn't have cancer, I'd throw you up against the wall. 
between your sniveling about the DRGs and the whimpering of our crybaby residents, I finally realized why Donald left. Look, Mark, I'm not too thrilled with the way the hospital is functioning either. Yeah, well, between you and me, I'm not very good at doing Donald's job. That's no secret. Where is he anyway? clerks were not my fault. Look, you took a swan dive during the nurse's strike, and we're stuck with them. When you get petty, you're a heartbreaker. Well, why don't you go comfort some kid with measles? Hi. You're back. How's Catherine? Fully recovered. Oh, good. Good. Ellen? Fine. Where the hell did you go? Long story. You staying? If you'll have me. Welcome. All right. <laughs> I hope my uh, leaving didn't cause him much trouble. Trouble? Well, he noticed you were gone. Now, look. Take your time. Okay. Get settled. And then get to work on the DRGs, okay? <laughs> <laughs> 